Hello, I am Toshi O Magari. I am a type designer and the creator of Bubble Kern. Bubble Kern is a new way to kern a typeface, and it's a set of Python scripts and plugins that uh, that you use in Glyphs, the font editor. And I'm gonna show you how to use it. Uh, after downloading the package from my uh, GitHub repository, you need to install them in the scripts folder, uh, which you can access from here. Uh, it's in the library and application support. Uh, I have them already installed, and one of the contents in the package needs to go to the plugins folder. If you don't have the plugins folder yet, uh, you can create one. You need to put this uh, Shokan Bubbles Glyphs reporter here. Once it's done, you need to re restart Glyphs, and then you can start kerning with Bubbles. Uh, I'll show you how to create a bubble the long way, just for the sake of explanation. Uh, you need to copy the layer and call it bubble with with a lowercase. And now it's a good time to turn on the uh, sorry the viewer plugin. But anyway, plugin Sean Kern bubbles. Uh, this plugin highlights the bubble layer in blue uh, so that you can see easily the relationship between the letter form and the bubble. And I deleted all the unnecessary things like these anchors and inside shapes because it doesn't affect kerning. And the faster way to create bubble layers is to run the script I made. Uh, where is it? Bubble kern, make bubble layers. It does the same thing. It uh, copies the master layer and yeah, applies the offset filter, which you can find in here. It's just the same thing. And I recommend using this adherence to side bearings option. I'm not going to explain it right now, but I will do it later. But click. Then you have bubbles. And yeah. So now let's move on to kerning. Here, I'm going to make a new set. Again, for the sake of explanation, <coughs> uh, if you double click, this view will appear where you put all the glyphs you want to kern. Uh, VOA, the, the order doesn't matter. This needs to be a list of glyph names separated by space. And you have these permutations created from these things. And the scripts will have, have a look at these nine possible kerning pairs, and if this pair, for example, looks kernable, let's say, then it uh, kerns until these bubbles touch each other, probably somewhere around here. And this, yeah, you might not see what's going on here just by looking at left and right thing here. You might, uh, oops, you might when you have asymmetric pairs like A, B, O, when you have like questions, for example, uh, question for example, yeah, as I said, this needs to be a glyph name, not actual glyph like this. This is not allowed. Uh, that applies to non Latin as well. You see, you now have uh, three pairs: uh, a against question, v against question, o against question. You can also have a question against uh, a v o when you add a third group but you don't need to because for that you have uh, this checkbox at flipped so now you have six uh, pairs just by clicking this thing and left and right if you have them the same you can't check this box because by that you're only going to duplicate what you have already and it's gonna waste time so you might you might be able to check the box but the script tries as much as possible to uncheck it. You see, you, you checked it now, but it, it tries to uncheck it. You just can't do it, and there's no point in doing so. And, oh, don't forget to save, because it's not going to ask you. So it's kind of dangerous, but I might update it one day, but as of today, you need to uh, save it. Just, uh, anyway, now it's ready. Uh, click show. Uh, kernel pairs, the current, uh, typeface is current until it touches. It's not like ex exactly, but it's 
Close enough, okay. Let's see? Now, uh, when you change the bubble shape, let's change the shape of the V, for example. Uh, the AVA is kind of tight, isn't it? I usually shape a layer uh, like this. I will do that today, but let's do it later. Uh, when you want to update the kerning data, the kerning pairs regarding V only to save time, uh, you click this button on the right. When you have lots and lots and lots of glyphs, this is actually way faster. Click, then the pairs regarding V would change and that's the basic you need to uh, basics you need to know and let's move on to this option uh, because this is very important to understand and let's run this uh, without adherence to side bearings this is what you get and if you turn this thing you need to add H, add H uh, at H2 here. Oh, it doesn't have questions, so this entire thing will be ignored for now. Uh, show current bubbles. Oh, no, sorry, current, current pairs. Now, uh, see, the H is current against H. And in professional type design, it's a bad thing. If you're kerning such basic uh, shapes like stem against stem, that means your side bearing settings was bad. This is something you need to avoid uh, in most styles. So there should be a way to automatically avoid a uh, unnecessary kerning. So the easiest way is to just make them sort of stick to side bearings like this. Uh, in a way, uh, in this way, now uh, there is no kerning value between H. Yeah, now it's not going to kern like H against H other ways to just remove the H from this uh, list of, uh, entirely, that's one way to go. Anyway, you need to be thinking about how to avoid unnecessary pairs because we're still using the specification where the side bearings and sorry, kerning are separate things. So yeah, if you don't understand it, I recommend you uh, kern the uh, traditional way first to get the idea then use bubblecon later. And I'm going to explain the nudged and trimmed option using question. And yeah, if I uncheck this box, you'll get this shape. If you choose the trim option, you will get a shape like this. It basically removes the excess, like by Boolean operation. It, it's simple. And if you choose nudge option, sort of pushes the closest node to the side bearings to be aligned at side bearings so it doesn't cut anything and when the bubble is too small or the nodes are too much inside uh, node well let's ignore the side bearings for now uh, the nudge option was will push the closest node to the side bearings and that actually applies to the trimming option as well uh, let's ignore it again uh, let's apply uh, the trimmed option this time it again pushes the node to the uh, side bearing so trim option is a combination of nudging and trimming actually uh, it basically looks at whether the node is inside or outside the side bearings well that's about it uh, as, as for this make bubble layers let's move on to components when you have component letters let's say or the RSS. You don't need to draw a bubble layer for that. Uh, it basically imports bubble layers from the uh, parent glyph, uh, which means you need to draw a bubble for the RSS. And yeah, let's just do it. When you do it, yeah, you will get this funny shape. I think this might be a good uh, case where you. Uh, where you need to ignore the side bearings because what matters is the type critics in composition. Yeah, that's better. And when you have a shape like T bar, sorry, glyph like T bar, T bar, and I haven't made a T bar with components, all you have to draw is the bubble for the bar. 
I haven't drawn the uh, bubble for tea yet. Let's do it now. And you don't, yeah, as I said, you don't need to draw a bubble that covers T. It's covered already. And click. Um, yeah, it's maybe better to ignore this uh, side bearings. Yeah. But that's it. But in the bubble layer, on well, only thing it has is a bubble for the bar. It doesn't have a bubble for T. You don't need it. And it's re uh, recycled. So I think that's about... Oh, there's one more thing. Um, let's go back to the uh, T again. Let's say the bubble shape is a bad uh, again. Let's say uh, if you updated the bubble shape, you want to remove this kerning value uh, by clicking this thing. Actually, it doesn't. It doesn't check what, what's being already kerned. So if you want to remove this kerning value, you need to uh, go to the kerning window and remove it manually or remove it here. But the point is uh, it doesn't remove the kern existing kerning. Uh, I might update that in the future, but as of today, that's what it does. Or it, that's what it doesn't. Uh, I guess that's all you need to know for now. Uh, yeah, enjoy kerning with bubbles. Take care. Bye.